Nice, how are you? I'm good. I'm not undefeated as a head coach, though. 1-0 <laughs> <laughs> sounds pretty good. That's starting yeah. to start the season on the road. What more yeah. could you ask for? Well, it's a nice start. I mean, we've still got a lot of work to do. I mean, uh, they're a solid team. And, you know, we wanted to get off to a fast start. I mean, there's three teams make the playoffs. And you don't get off to a fast start, you put yourself in kind of a hole, right? So we worked really hard with getting some of our American guys who haven't played a lot to up to speed as quickly as possible. And training camp was a really good experience for us. We came up here, we went to Toronto, and you know, at least for one game, it kind of paid off. One of the great things about this game from your vantage point, never trailed, responded well, I thought, to, to all the game. That's, uh, you know, for a young team coming together, you can't ask for much more. Yeah, I mean, our Achilles heel is, you know, it's typically been the third quarter. Um, it's kind of plagued this for a couple of years, you know, having a decent first half and then kind of laying an egg in the uh, in the third quarter and getting behind the eight ball real quick. So we really focused on um, making sure we came out in, this, in the second half real strong and, and it really paid off dividends. We, I think we beat them that, that quarter 4-2 and it, it really laid the foundation for a nice finish. They yeah, were clawing back too, right? Halftime going yeah, in, they exactly. got a bit of a run, 9-7. Yeah. You guys came out and dictated instead of letting them keep the run up. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a... Um, it's, it's a game of, of flow, right? You, you go up, we had, a, we had a nice run there, all of a sudden we take some penalties, then they get back into it, And uh, but you're right. So it was, it was nice to be able to, to nail down that third quarter. Coming into the season, uh, you guys were ranked pretty low. How good did it feel to prove all the naysayers wrong? <laughs> well, there's a long way to go. So, uh, well, I mean, at least for the first yeah. game. No, I mean, it's, it's, um, it's not a bad place to be, you know, to be preseason nine out of nine, right? So it's a lot of nice build, uh, locker room uh, um locker room billboard stuff. It's a good motivation for us uh, to prove the naysayers wrong, absolutely. But we, now we, we're back at square one. we got to do it again uh, in a couple of weeks. But certainly um, guys felt a little disrespected and, you know, um, really wanted to prove uh, that they're, you know, better than that. The work, the work ethic seemed to really show through in the loose balls, particularly on the offensive end, creating second and third chances. Is that something you guys have worked on with boxing out, or is it just a uh, you know, grittiness? No, I think it's, it's, you know, getting back to some of these American guys, right? I mean, a rookie in, a rookie for one of, for Buffalo has got 20 years experience. Our rookie's got 20 hours, right, of indoor of indoor experience. So we really challenged everybody to find the role. You know, if you can't score a goal, um, set a pick. If you can't, you know, if you're not a shutdown defender, get a Lucy. Right? So it was just a matter of guys picking up roles and, and really finding out a, a way how they can contribute to the overall team's success. I haven't seen jo many natural hat tricks plus one. Jordan gets four straight at a pretty key situation there. Tell me about his game and how he's come along. Yeah, I mean, I think Jordan has been a, an interesting individual. I mean, he's a tremendous talent. Uh, I was with New York when we drafted him first overall a number of years ago. Um, so I've always enjoyed his, his game. He's a consummate leader. He, he, he plays both sides. I mean, both sides of the ball. I mean, there was a lot of discussion whether or not he should be a training guy. But at the end of the day, we just needed his stick on the offensive side. And, you know, when he gets hot, he can start and feels comfortable playing a, an offensive role. And then he'll be, you know, he'll continue to get better at that. Early on, you know, you guys were leading the shots pretty pretty heavily throughout the game and early on especially, but Kirk came up with some big saves for you guys to kind of set the pace, and you guys held the power play to one for three in the first quarter. Right? Yeah, yeah. so, I mean, Kirk, he is um, it's a nice addition. It was sort of kind of fortuitous given uh, – Given what's happening right now with some of our uh, some players who aren't signed, so it's, it's, it was nice. I was really happy for him to step in and and be able to, to play as well as he did. I mean, he, he made some big saves at key times, so and it really helped us uh, close the door. Tracy Koloski comes back uh, and it was all haunts, and, and uh, <laughs> it must have been a fulfilling night for him. And you probably felt happy for him just coming back. I mean, you, you, you'll have to ask him that question, but I, I, if it was me, I would be like really happy. <laughs> so I, we, we, I think the boys are really happy that he was able to come back and contribute the way he did and throw a couple of nice goals in. So it was you know, good for him. You talked about those players that aren't signing. At some point in the season, could we see them come back? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not the GM, so I don't try, try to get myself too much involved in that aspect of the, of the team. But, you know, success does crazy things. So if we continue on the success, I mean, one, you know, we've already gotten one email from somebody who, hey, I'd like to maybe think about it. But uh, who knows? Who knows? Well, you know, the door is always open, but I don't want to open it too much because we kind of like what we have right now. And you know, the guys who are here have worked really hard to be here and really hard to stay here. So, you know, anybody who's not here now and wanted to come back, it'd be a tough, I think it'd be very tough for them to, to jump in given some of, you know, the work we've got so far. When you see an opposing goalie struggling a bit, uh, do you tell you guys just to give more shots on goal than even the system would normally normally prescribe? 
Not, not really. I mean, I think when, when you know uh, when you see a goalie struggle, you want to just continue with the system and get the good shots. Because the last thing you want is to just start throwing rubber at him and getting allowing him to have confidence. So we really wanted to work on getting the shots we wanted and forcing him to make a save. And when, and if they don't, they don't. And and uh, but it's just it's just not so much not give the ball away and not take the un you know the, the unscripted shot. Thanks, Thanks coach. Coach.